Hello and welcome to this Technical Corner. I'm with Ken Baldwin from Open Mind Technologies UK. Um, and we're going to dispel a, a myth in some senses during this Technical Corner um, for some people that may believe that Open Mind's Hypermill software is just really specifically for high-end users, uh, high-precision components. That would be true, five-axis machining, simultaneous machining. But also, Ken, it has a, a massive use, doesn't it, in entry-level machining. Can you maybe explain... Um, yeah, where it can fit in this area too. Well, Hypermill, so first of all, what a lot of people don't know um, is it started off as a three-axis product. Uh, it was orientated, you know, look, it was the mold and die market specifically. Um, in mold and die, surface quality and safety are paramount. So, and that is still, you know, what we're all about today. So even, you know, entry-level machining, um, they're not, you know, spindles are not cheap. Um, so if you dink your spindle because maybe you've not collision checked it fully, that's, that's a mistake that you, you can't afford, afford to have. So Hypermill has security at every stage. So you can, you can simulate everything, you can check everything, the tool, the holder, the work holding, um, and you can be sure that what you put on the machine is going to be safe and secure. Now those things are very important, but sometimes they're overlooked by engineers because the most important thing is getting the part off the machine as fast as possible. And I get that all of those apply, but what about things like reducing the cycle times on, on, on simpler parts, um, programming simpler parts? Is this an area where they can win as well? It definitely is. So Hypermill, we have comprehensive 2D and 3D strategies. So we can do the most simple, you know, the most straightforward parts. Um, but there's always there's always savings that you can make. Um, so so there's you know things like trachoidal roughing. We've got um, a roughing strategy for high feed cutters, adaptive pocket. So even if it's a prismatic part. There's still, you know, the same type of savings would, would still apply. And, and does this apply, you're talking about milling in a lot of senses here, does this apply to turning as well? Yes, it does. Yeah, so you can, you know, again, we there's stracoidal style turning, which again, there's, there's really massive productivity gains that you can get, get with that. And when you, when you assess the marketplace, which I'm sure your company does, do you see the advantages of your software and the benefits are, are, are better at the lower end than they are at the top end, or is it equal? I would say it's equal. Uh, you know, it, it's it's no secret that you know. Yes, we are known for five axis, and I think you know, really, what why why did we target that area? You know, back in you know over twenty years ago. Well, it's because we found a niche. Um, but really, it's even you know c customers with five axis machines, they still need to do a facing operate operation. You know, generate a pocket. You know, and a lot of five axis machines are used in three plus two, which is just three axis on a tilted work plane. So they wouldn't be utilising Hypermill if it, wasn't, if it wasn't suitable for those types of operations. And how often do you go into places and they go, yeah, I, that's not for me, it, it's just for five axis machines. Is that, I know we've done a lot of work with you to portray a different story, but is that still the case? Are people still thinking of you um, just for those more complex parts? It's, it does still happen, but I think slowly people are realising that there's you know, big, big gains. Uh, to, be, to be had with Hypermill on the more simple type of components. Um, but then also sometimes people have got one eye on the future. You know, they might be at entry level now, but by having Hypermill, which is, you know, they might be using it for simple parts, but they know it's capable of more complex parts. And that does then enable them to, uh, you know, opens up their, their machine shop to a completely different marketplace. And maybe they've got their eye on a five axis machine some years down the line. Mm. Okay, on, on that scenario then, it, it, when you go into a company, or is it as easy for you to go into a company and just spend 15 minutes just demonstrating? And do they quickly get to grips with actually what you're saying just by a, a simple demo or maybe what they're doing? Yeah, it's, it's definitely, if, if, we, if we look at what they're doing at the moment, we can definitely then look at that and then show them with Hypermill, this is what you can do and these are what the savings are, and we're more than happy to, you know, to prove that to people. Yeah, and uh, probably one of the reasons that Open Mind's doing so well at the moment, um, growing year on year. So even if you are a machine shop that you're just doing the simplest of operations, the savings to be made, uh, and ways to grow your business using Open Mind UK's uh, software, Hypermill.